So we're down here this week at the Mel Melon Educate Building Blitz 2023 with CJ Sander. So we're going to start off with the hard-hitting questions first. What does the J stand for? The J? Well, I, I don't even know, but it stands for Johan. So okay. Joanne, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. And then... How did you hear about the charity and what brought you down here? Yeah, so I um, met a few guys in the Six Nations, Paul Whitnell, he's with uh, BITA, uh, British Artists Training Association, and uh, he put me into contact with this and he asked me, uh, if I, what am I doing in November? And I said, uh, well, I'm not sure yet. And he said, uh, do you want to push around a few uh, wheelbarrows? So I said, yeah, why not? <laughs> so I uh, got involved, got it stuck in this morning. It's great to be part of it. And you have a four-year-old yourself, so this must really resonate with you being at the liter literacy hub here. Yeah, especially you know, especially coming from South Africa, knowing what uh, what uh, some of the children have to go through to get an education, and uh, now being part of uh, this week, finishing uh, school to see what was built last year, what it's uh, what we see here is what the kids are getting, you know, and sitting in the class now, seeing what they're learning and how they're learning, and talking to the teachers. Uh, some the teachers didn't have this when they were growing up, so yeah, it's special. Um, it's. It's not always granted, and uh, it's great to see that uh, we can do a little part to make a big difference in someone's life. Perfect. And you lived in Ireland for 10 years, so I have to ask you, what is the best point of Guinness in Ireland? Ooh, that's a, that's a nice one. Um, there's a place in, uh, in Limerick, uh, the Black Swan. Uh, it's, it's down in Anacotti, but uh, there's a place called O'Shea's. Uh, very very small pub. I used to go and uh, have a good good Guinness there. So uh, I used to I, I love Guinness, uh, but three or four is enough for me. Then I get uh, get a bit too rowdy. Yeah yeah yeah. And final question: A lot of Irish fans believe that we really did win the World Cup because we beat South Africa. Do you agree with that sentiment? Well, it's the only team who beat South Africa, you know. So uh, I was over there. Uh, but heartbroken when they didn't get through uh, to the quarters because uh, it did play so well the whole tournament before before the World Cup as well. But um, you look, is a we, we said every year, but there's another World Cup to come, and I think that team is uh, destined for greatness. Perfect.